Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And this video series is a review for my Math 21 Intro to Statistics class for their midterm. We are using the Sullivan Woodbury Interactive Statistics textbook, and we are covering chapters one through seven on this midterm review. In this video, we'll learn how to use StatCrunch to compute the linear regression equation, and we'll use it to predict values of a dependent variable. Here are the scores of five randomly selected students on test one and test two in a math class. Find the equation of the regression line, treating the score on test one as X and the score on test two as Y. Let's turn to StatCrunch. The data are typed in the last two columns, 12-test1 and 12-test2. To compute the regression equation, press STAT, Regression, Simple Linear. For the X variable, select the test one scores. For the Y variable, the test two scores, and press Compute. And our equation is in the third row under Simple Linear Regression Results. Here are those results once again. The equation is the third line in the results. And if we round to two decimal places, we can write this equation as y hat equals negative 49.60 plus 1.51x. You may find it easier though to write this as test two equals negative 49.60 plus 1.51 test one. Part B, what is the slope of the line? What does the slope tell you? The slope is the coefficient being multiplied by x. So here the slope is 1.51. And what that tells us is as the score on test one increases by one, we can expect the average of the test two scores to increase by 1.51. Finally, predict the test two score for a student who had a score of 80 on test one. If I use this, this rounded equation, y hat will be equal to negative 49.60 plus 1.51 times 80, our score on test one. So y hat equals negative 49.60 plus 120.80 or 71.20. Now we could also have used StatCrunch to make this prediction directly. Let's take a look at that. Now, if I want to use StatCrunch to predict a test two score associated with a test one score of 80, I can simply push options and edit. And where it says prediction of Y for the X value, I enter 80. Press compute, scroll down in the output box. And here at the bottom, we see for an X value of 80, the predicted value is 70.988287. Here are Here is that output again, and notice that rounds to be 71.0. I hope you find this video helpful. If you need to reach out to me, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, which is georgewoodbury.com. You can also get a copy of the midterm review off of my home page, click on the link that says materials for my statistics students. You can also reach out to me on Twitter at George Woodbury.